Welcome to a little segment we like to call What's, What's in, in Our, our backpack? backpack. This is Gerald the Third. He is a big boy. Roxy. And this is our What's in Our Backpack. So, first thing, I have a book. It's a great book. Read the Red Queen series. In this little outside pocket right there, I have some money because just I like to just pop up in school with money. Next, I have some random band-aids. Don't wow. know where those came from. And some cough drops because I'm sick. In my two side pockets, in this one, I have nothing. In the other one, I have my keys to my house. Because I get home alone, so don't try and find me. And then in this pocket, I have nothing. And there's another pocket, which is not just the big pocket. This pocket here, I have nothing either. I just have everything in my big pocket. So Next, I have my lovely book. I'm reading War Storm. I haven't started it. <laughs> I'm a naughty girl. So Next thing I have in my big pocket is an umbrella because right now it's raining a lot. It's been raining for like three weeks, so it's not cool. Thanks a lot, Virginia. Next, I have my computer. This isn't my school computer because our school computers are crusty. I just have this one that my grandma gave to me. Shout out to you, grandma. Next, I have my school computer. I have two computers. One is for not school because it doesn't have everything blocked on it like our crusty Chromebooks do. Here's Next, I have my binder. Yay! Oh, um, on the cover of my binder, I have some Polaroids. And this one is me of Maddie. We're eating some donuts. You because, love donuts. And then... I just have some Polaroids and I have this pineapple, so that's my binder. My binder have like some decorative paper, so. And then I have all my crusty little folders. This one's like civics, languages, reading, math, and something else that I don't First know. First in my binder, I have this Ipsy subscription bag, but I just put gum and like my headphones and stuff in it. So secret stuff. It's a secret. Pencil pouch. Then I have our crusty planner. Then I have some paper. No way, I have gum in here. <gasps> Do you want a piece? Yeah. Yeah. I always have gum in my binder because it's an essential and if you don't have it, then what are you doing? I ran out of gum. Then in my binder I have paper and more algebra papers. Then I have a folder, a folder, a folder, a folder, a folder, and some graph paper for algebra. I have my hands about, which I keep and my lovely little pencils in that don't have lead in them. So, thanks to the little elf that keeps stealing my lead. They are the best ever. You can find them at Target ones. or, yeah, they're so good. I literally love them so much. That's so fun. Question of um, the day. Do you like reading? Because personally, I'm obsessed with reading and Ali knows this because I read like the whole Red Queen series in a matter of a week, so. She cries. That's what's in our crusty backpacks for school, because we love school! Yay! <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching this. Now on to our next segment. Bye! <laughs> Welcome to our next segment. Q&A! So, I pulled you, up some questions. Okay, you ask me the questions and I'll answer okay. truthfully. What will finally break the internet? Fortnite. Honestly, the internet is already broke. The internet so. is already broken, but probably like Fortnite or something. What do you play on? Like mobile? I don't like play any yeah. games. The only games I play are Mario Kart. Um, <laughs> I will crush you at Mario Kart. And GTA. <laughs> love that. You love GTA. Okay, Um, next question. What celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10? Obviously, Noah Sen... What's his name? Sentino? Sentino. Oh. Noah Centino, like, you know, from To All the Boys I Loved Before. Yes, I agree. We love him. Which fictional character would be the most boring to meet in real life? Probably Annabelle Calor from Red Queen, because she's a little... Okay. <laughs> Mine would be Snow White. Yeah. Maybe, um, maybe Alice Cooper from Riverdale. I feel like she would be boring. Kinda yeah, boring. she would be kind of boring. 
What is the best and worst purchase you have ever made? Best purchase was probably um, my phone. <laughs> I bought like this pound of chocolate and it was by far the most amazing purchase I've ever made. Worst purchase was probably like, you know when you go to gift stores and they have like that thing of like rocks and like you fill a bag with like rocks? That was like my worst purchase because like it was just a bag of rocks. My worst purchase was probably all the slime supplies. I was obsessed with slime, but I just bought like so many gallons of glue and it wasn't even worth it. So Slime's done. Yeah, it's, it's dead. Like, I'm sorry, it's dead. It's like just my head. like. If you had to change your name, what would your new name be? My name would be Ellie, because I love that name. My name would probably be probably Bella. I just like love that name. It's so pretty. What's your favorite quote? Um, my favorite quote is from one of my favorite books, because as you said before, I'm a book nerd, and it's break my heart, break it a thousand times if you like. It was only ever yours to break anyway. Mine's probably, if nothing's going right, look left. What is the dumbest way you've ever been injured? I so I tripped over the shoe and like I fell, but I didn't get hurt. And I kicked the shoe because I was angry, and then like I slipped and like I hurt my wrist. Mine was probably so that was funny. <laughs> I've been like just like cleaning my room. I just like fell on my face because like my room's so <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Are there any conspiracies that like you believe in or something like that? We're about to spill Welcome the to tea. Oh. Conspiracy theories! Even the camera doesn't like it. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, let's get serious. So the first one is, um, reincarnation. So, when you die, the light that you see is actually the hospital lights, and you're actually being born into your new life, like, as a baby, and the reason you're crying is because you just forgot all your past memories. That's good. And then also proof for reincarnation is, so, like, this guy was, like, painting, and, like, he fell into a pole, and, like, he got, like, a huge dent in his head, and that's how he died. And this, like, boy was born with, like, a dent in his head. And he, like, always talked about how he needed to go finish his painting. And he knew exactly where the painting was, so. Another one is Shane Dawson was actually a part of the Illuminati, but they kicked him out. So that's why he's talking about all these conspiracy theories, because he's, like, trying to, like, expose them. Expose. The last one is Beyonce's the leader of the Illuminati. Oh, but like <laughs> I believe that. Because, <laughs> like, for one of her shows, she dressed up exactly like the goddess of the Illuminati. And Taylor Swift is, like, pretty close to, like, being at, like, the top. But, like, Beyonce is always at the top because we love Beyonce. And, like, I feel like Beyonce is, like, trying to, like, take all of the pop stars down so she can be on top. Because she's, like, the leader of the Illuminati. And then my last one is we live in a simulation. People we have seen clouds just, like, glitch out of the sky. And there's just, like, weird stuff point we're just gonna wake up and then it's like not gonna be anything like like this world because like we uh, we've never been raised to believe anything other than this there could be like so many other versions of life you know yeah like i'm just like worried like one day i'm just gonna wake up and i'm gonna be like an 80 year old man or something <laughs>